Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of possibly one of the most amazing superhero careers. We're here to talk about both Gran Torino and Eraserhead. Because Gran Torino looks like he's potentially dead. Because, I mean, you don't get your your in, your chest caved in like that without, you know, potent, without death potentially being on the doorstep. <clears throat> and then, of course... Especially as an old man. Yeah. And then, of course, Mr. Aizawa, a.k.a. Eraserhead... Uh, just got shot with a, uh, with a quirk-killing bullet. And that sucks, because his ability is what was keeping, uh, what was keeping Shigaraki in check. And the dragon lady is about to die, too. And it looks like that's the case as well. Like, she's about to... I I'll say this, Shigaraki, everything that he's done, I can't help but... Like, he talked about his conviction to do this. I can't help but just feel like, like, damn, this kid's conviction is next level. Now, I hate the fact that we're about to lose, we're about to lose some heroes in this exchange, but, damn, it, it's just, this, this whole season so far has just been a constant build and now here we are with this, and I just, I don't know what else to say. By the way, I'm not wearing a shirt with him on it because I'm rooting for him. <clears throat> I'm wearing a shirt with him on it because he's a cool design and one of the scariest villains in a long time. Yes, he is truly a terrifying villain. Ter especially powered up like this, being the way that he is. Holy hell. The same reason I have a shirt with Freddy Krueger on it. It's not that I root for Freddy Krueger, it's just that he's, yeah, I, I he's got, a good villain. I got a shirt that says The Mandalorian, but it's clearly Boba Fett. I mean... <laughs> really? Look, color design... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's funny. I never I, noticed that. I know. I I thought about it, I was just like, you know? The moral of the story is shirts don't have to make sense. No, they don't. And honestly, a lot of them don't make sense. So... There's so many things at play. Aizawa, Gran Torino, and now that Shigaraki's more than likely going to be getting his powers back, Dragon Lady's gonna gonna bite the dust, and also probably... Oh, dude, imagine Endeavor biting the dust mm -hmm. in front of Todoroki. That would be devastating. I think that's literally one of the first things that's going to happen in this episode, because <clears throat> all he has to do is this, and Dragon Lady's dead. Yeah. <clears throat> and, so. and I... As so much I, as I don't want her to die, I've already prepared myself for it, so it's not going to be that heart-shattering. So I've had a week to prepare for it. Yeah. But, I guess, let's go ahead and hop into it. This is My Hero Academia, episode... Nine of season six, Katsuki Bakugo Rising. Wait, what? Oh! Yo, I did not expect that at all. I didn't either. Dude, Aizawa, you are a cold motherfucker. Eraser. Shit. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we knew it. We could see it. Oh! 
I don't think he's dead, but he's but he's down for now. He just got his eyes filled with blood. ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、
That's just, that's, that's, oh my god, dude, I, I'm speechless right now. Yep. What it looked like happened right there, I knew there was going to be some, because the control that, that Shigaraki has over all those quirks, I knew that there might be a price that comes with it. And I think that price is that is that all for, is that one for all or that all for one is has the ability to take over whenever he deems fit. Or at least whenever he's like whenever Shigaraki is weak enough for him to take over. I don't know. But it looked like right there that that All for One was reaching out to take control, and he did, which that's what caused him to attack Endeavor, and then attack Deku, and then hit Bakugo. That's what I think, because he was reaching out and calling Deku his little brother. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Bakugo doesn't die from that, but yeah, I'm the same. I'm in the same mindset. I'm hoping that's not good at all. That is not. That is. Do you want to know something crazy? Is uh, dude at the gas station complimented my other My Hero Academia shirt the other night? And I was like, oh right. I was like, have you been watching the new season? And he's like, oh, I'm a manga reader. Oh no. And uh, he was like, yeah, where the manga's at right now actually makes what's happening in the show right now look like uh, nothing compared to it. And I was like, Jesus Christ, oh, that's, really? That's, uh, <laughs> I was like, where's the show gonna go? What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. If that's the case, holy shit. It's like, apparently it gets fucking insane. Because it's already pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah, this My is God, a, dude! Intense episode. That was very intense. It's probably one of the more intense. It's not slacked off for the intensity for like three episodes now. No, if anything, it's only gone up. Mm -hmm. And now here we are with this, and God, the only break yeah. from it's like a little bit of flashback stuff. And even then, like that, only all that does is just 
add to the backstory of what's going on. You know, we see Bakugo... Bakugo to act like that, for him to just jump and take the hit like that, I'd known Bakugo to potentially do that with others, but for him to do that to Deku, that is... I mean, it doesn't seem outside of the realm of possibility. It just doesn't seem like ever, anything that... Like, it usually seems more like he would attack the person attacking them rather than jump in the wave and attack. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's... And, you know... All that being said, I'm for him to act like that, for him to just make the sacrifice play, that is... And then Aizawa in the beginning of the episode. I'm thinking this battle has to be drawing to a close now, though, because, like, the, the heroes are basically on the track to completely lose this and, like, lose, like, most of the main characters at the same time if they well, continue this much longer. Giganto Machia. Like, I'm thinking burning him maybe gave all for one the amount of time to pull one attack, and then he's going to have to just, like, get like Shigaraki's body like out of there and uh, hopefully that will change the course of Gigantomachia and they'll end up just having a meet up somewhere else and this uh, current conflict will be mostly brought towards an end at that point yeah that being said though man this this show holy I, I, I mean if this is how the entire season is going to go with this I mean I feel like it has to chill soon because like it's getting too close to like a definitive end if it keeps going where it's going yeah there has to be a break mm -hmm. I don't know where it's going to be but it's it hopefully will come soon and and we won't lose anybody at God but just everything that happened in this episode I mean Aizawa removing his lower leg. Uh, Deku revealing the float, uh, the float quirk. Him basically throwing caution by the wayside and just saying, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go all in and go all out, 100 percent." And then, yeah, he potentially like won't be able to use his arms anymore after this fight. Well, you see. I look at I look at what Aerie was able to do to him and like maybe there's a chance like Aerie can reverse him like to the point where he can use them again if they do if they are currently paralyzed or whatever. Yeah. That would be I think that would probably be the ideal thing. I don't know. But and she could also reverse Aizawa in both Get his, well, like he didn't lose his quirks, but she could mm. potentially get his leg back, maybe. Potentially, well, I'm not sure what the rules are. I think maybe there, like, there has to be, like, everything still has to be there. I think I don't know, but um, if they are able to get his leg and bring it back with them, maybe. But. Airy, Airy, also, where did the dragon lady go after the beginning of that fight? I think she got blown away. Because uh, if I remember right, let's see. After the removal of his leg... Let's see. After the removal of his leg... Yeah, she got blown away. Oh, okay. She got, like, thrown... I don't know how far away. Right there. And we don't really see, we didn't really see which direction she went. I think I would assume she got knocked, like knocked down. Uh, but when Deku used the black whip to uh, to pick everybody up, did he pick her up too? Nope. Nope. There she is. She's knocked out. Oh, okay. She's knocked out, and uh, Deku's Deku saved her from the ground. Damn, dude. I'm guessing he did that as a just in case he didn't stop Shigaraki and Tom type thing. Well, yeah. I mean, 
the only way that it'll truly affect people is if they're touching the ground. Mm-hmm. And Deku doing this is basically his defense mechanism for everyone else. Also, the fact that he's able to use float, that's that's really nifty against someone like Shigaraki because if he's able to use float and get off the ground and direct himself with like the air bursts and all that, I mean, who's to say that he won't he couldn't potentially uh, get the drop on Shigaraki if they ever went one on one like that again. I don't know. But yeah, this just this turn of events and everything that's happening right now, I am just I don't know what all is going to happen in the next episode, but I'm scared still. I'm still very scared for Endeavor for Bakugo, for Gran Torino, and uh, for Aizawa. I mean, there's and there's still so much that could happen so quickly. And, yeah, I, I got nothing else to say. It's just shitty that we're going to have to wait another week to find out what happens <laughs> next. So Every time. Every single time. So, everybody, thank you all very much for tuning in. This was uh, My Hero Academia, episode nine, or episode nine of season six, Katsuki Bakugo Rising. So we'll see you all in the next one. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Take care, everybody. Peace.